Welcome back to Aunt Anna's Kitchen. I'm Aunt Anna, and guess what we're cooking today? Eggplant. This is probably one of my favorite vegetables. I'll tell you that with every vegetable that I ever cook, so just go with me. There are many, many kinds of eggplant. Look at these beautiful eggplants that they gave me at the farmer's market. This is the same farmer's market that I made the tomato soup from, so I'm trying to use up all these ingredients, right? These are a little small for making eggplant stacks because that's what we're making today, eggplant stacks. So to begin with, I have the tomatoes roasting in the oven. I'm gonna show you how to slice, how I slice the eggplant. And a uh, tiny, it's not really a trick, but it's something that I've been doing to avoid frying eggplant. I love eggplant parmesan that is fried. But you know, as I get older, I don't want, number one, you guys know I don't want to fry in my house, but I don't want to eat it. I'm trying to eat a little healthy, and I just love eggplant. So I cut the eggplant about to this thickness. And then I just place them on a parchment cookie sheet. On a parchment, we have a new camera woman today. So if you see a few little glitches, it's because She's getting her craft down. My girlfriends and my family are terrific in helping me out in getting these recipes down. Because you guys know how well I measure, right? So I use this product, Bertoli Extra Virgin Olive Oil Spray. I love this product. Because the only thing in here is olive oil. I used to have one of those little pump ones, but it got clogged all the time, so I ditched it. And as soon as this came out, it's a tiny bit expensive, but it goes a long way. Eggplant works like a sponge. So if you're gonna roast it in the oven, which is what I'm doing today, not grilling, you want that you just spray it. That's probably not even a, a quarter of a teaspoon of olive oil. If I painted it on, it would soak it all up really quick and it would taste greasy. So then I use a little garlic salt. Just sprinkle. A little hot shot, which you know goes on everything. Use just pepper if hot shot's not your thing. Not a big deal. Do salt any way you like them, flip them over. Repeat the process. Give it a spray. And let's use a little, you know, if this was gonna be for my boys, if they were home, or if my Nona's saw me do this, they'd be going, you're roasting the eggplant in the oven. I have seen eggplant done so many ways in my family. Two of the favorite ways were eggplant parm and then stuffed. But I've switched my recipe up. This is going to go in a 450 degree oven until it comes out like this. You may have to flip them halfway through the process. I always do them on parchment paper because they tend to stick and nothing sticks on parchment paper. So we'll put these here. We'll move these to our oven. I need a hot pad. I'm always missing something that I need when we're filming. Well, you guys know. It's a learning process filming. We're gonna take out what's in the oven. It's a surprise. Well, I've already told you. It's the tomatoes, the roasted tomatoes and I've roasted some garlic with it. So now I'm gonna turn this on. It was on, I turned it off because it was too, the tomatoes were cooking too much. Anyhow, these have been in the oven, I'd say maybe 40 minutes at 400 degrees convect. So maybe 450 if you had the regular oven on, you want them to just relax. All you do is take a Roma tomato and cut it in half or any other kind of tomato. If you have just a normal, if you have just a normal vine ripened tomato, cut out this part, cut it in half. You can see this one. This is this before cooking, okay? Let it relax for a minute. Now, we're gonna build the eggplant stacks. This is, remember I was telling you how I like cold mozzarella rather than using store-bought mozzarella, which please, this is store-bought mozzarella, but a fresher variety. You could use the kind that just, I think it's polio whole milk mozzarella. 
That will melt just like you get in any eggplant parm that you ever eat. This, you probably don't wanna leave in the oven too long because it would become stringy. The greatest thing about this brand, they slice it. You don't even have to slice it. How good is that? So you take these, these eggplant discs and I, you know what I do? I build it right where I'm gonna serve it. So I need to clean up my space a little. Remember the pesto I showed you how to make? You sh Just a little pesto, don't have pesto, go to the store, buy some pesto. No big deal, right? And did you notice in here the garlic? This is all roasted garlic. My family loves garlic, not everybody's family does. So if your family doesn't, leave this part out, but watch what happens. It's nice and soft. So I start with a little, all right, a piece of eggplant, a nice chunky tomato, a little bit of, I like my pesto to go on my tomato, but that's up to you too. You can put as much or as little as you like and a nice piece of mozzarella. I top it off with that. And then I come back in and get a small tomato, a little bit of garlic. And later on, I'm gonna top that off with some of the juice that's left in the pan and a piece of fresh basil. And hey, why not? Let's go back and do just a tiny bit more of pesto. You can never have enough pesto when you're, I'm talking about tomatoes, right? So there's our first one. We're gonna go on to build another one. And you can build these, these are kind of thin. The next ones are gonna be a little thicker. So you could even go another stack high, depending on who you're serving this to. If you have a dinner party and you want them to be nice. This, this is the same way I serve all vegetables. I don't like them burning hot. I like them to be just a tad above room temperature. So I make everything, get it ready before I serve dinner, pop it in the oven at 180 degrees just for maybe 10 minutes. That cheese gets soft, the, the eggplant gets warm, all the tomato gets warm, and it's just it just brings out the flavor of everything, the right temperature. So what did we forget? We've got, we got to put our cheese. Can't forget the cheese. And if the cheese is too big, yeah, you can never have enough cheese. Unless you can't eat cheese, then adjust that as well. Next layer, and we're going to find a small roasted tomato, a tiny bit of pesto. Okay, we've made a couple. Oh, you know what we forgot? Our roasted garlic. We need to add that. It's very forgiving, because look, you just keep going back and making them any way you want. And when you're gonna serve them, let's see, I'm gonna try one for you. Since I love eggplant, I'm gonna take one off, as I would if I was gonna serve it to someone, and put it on here, and kick off. There's a little tip about basil if you're growing basil at home. This basil, will grow very tall and go to seed quick in the summer. If you want to stop that, you need to bring it down from the top. You can take a look at some of these leaves that I've pinched, and then they continue to grow. It will continue to get wider if you keep bringing it down. Mine are kind of crowded, overzealous with the seeding. But anyway, you know, you know, and it loves basil. So it's all done. Back to your extra virgin olive oil. I don't want to pour olive oil all over the plate because I don't want a big mouth full of olive oil. So I'm just going to give it a spritz. And not only, it glistens. The plate just glistens. So it's a pretty presentation and let's see how it tastes. Oh gosh, I've been waiting for this. But you know, I have to do this kind of in stages. I have just been waiting to try it. I like my eggplant peel. Some people don't, but I do. Because sometimes the peel, you know. Mmm. Mmm. The eggplant is roasted and caramelized, so the flavor is very strong. The cheese is just perfect because it's at room temperature. Tomatoes get better the longer you roast them in the oven, and you've got that fresh bite of the basil and the pesto. That is excellent. I want to thank everybody for always tuning in and watching Aunt Anna's. Eggplant are everywhere in the summer and in the winter. It's a good summer and winter food. You'll see me cook with it a lot. 
to give you a quick preview, this is going to be vine wipe and stuffed tomatoes. If you saw the cutlets, it's got basically the same ingredients, except this is my homemade breadcrumbs, Romano cheese. I'm going to mix it up with some garlic and pepper and fresh herbs, stuff it and roast them in the oven and it goes great next to any protein. And then tonight, because I'm overloaded with fresh vegetables from the farmer's market, every time I mention him, he is so gracious as to give me lots of extra stuff. He's given me all this. I'm gonna roast these as well and make a fresh roasted vegetable pasta. It has been great having you in my kitchen today. I wish you many, many blessings. Come back and see me. Ciao.